We're back, people, and today we're breaking down film on Jalen Coker, Carolina Panthers wide receiver, undrafted rookie, and he's really come along these past couple of weeks. Nice to see him getting some work. I think, you know, if you're the Panthers, this is what you're trying to do. You're trying to get see what you have in some of these younger guys, uh, try to develop, you know, get them the, that playing time. And, you know, small school guy out of Holy Cross, and I feel like he's gotten to show off his skill set that he had come out of Holy Cross. Very explosive when it comes to, like, vertical explosiveness tracking body control ball skills he's amazing at the catch point makes a lot of difficult catches and i think when it comes to his ability as a route runner he's not the you know quickest best separator type of guy like when it comes to like getting in and out of his breaks but he knows how to run routes with nuance he's like he's pretty advanced when it comes to like mixing up his pace his tempo working into blind spots like just the timing of his routes are what you want out of like a veteran receiver and him doing that as a rookie is really really nice so i think he'll always be like kind of limited at times Due to maybe not being, you know, the most, like, laterally explosive out of his breaks. But, like, even if he's not open, he can make some catches. Like, here's a double move. He doesn't get open at all, this this first rep right here. You know, trying to, you know, work the out and up. This DB plays it pretty well. I do like that, you know, he at least sells it with his eyes. Like, he commits with his eyes and then breaks up field. DB plays it well, but he's there tracking it in. Great throw, but tracks. Boom, full extension right there. He's fully extended. Makes that catch. Gets two feet in bounds awareness all of the good stuff right there really really fun to see you if you're a wide receiver that maybe isn't the greatest separator you have to be dominant at the catch point and he is and he also has reps where he can separate due to his nuanced route running uh so really nice i think combination that i think gives him a chance to be a successful nfl receiver just a sleeper really uh but really really good tracking ability like high end tracker body control ball skills all that can make work on back shoulder here down in the red zone for his touchdown last week uh feels like he's reading this right you know how this db's positioned he's put that db has upfield shoulder positioning if he was playing you know in more of a trail technique coker would be ready for the ball over the top but since this db's like either even with him or upfield shoulder he's ready for the back shoulder boom create a little separation with a tiny little shove there but don't get past interference then show body control ball skills make that catch as you're falling to the ground really good job uh to win right down there really really nice work there from coker here in the slot nice to see him doing work on the outside and in the slot creating some separation matched up with this guy gives a uh, you know looks like he's working out into the blind spot here he's like subtly working to the outside like so he's slightly stemming this to the outside worked in the blind spot and then gives a hard stab right there with the inside foot to get this guy to freeze and then boom gets up on those toes real quick and breaks to the outside creates some separation and then also, you know, be aware, get two feet in bounds, that type of good work. So just like good route from Coker, being able to create separation down the field, always nice to see that. Uh, and then being in the correct spot, because, and he's doing it with two different quarterbacks. He's had some good plays with Bryce Young, good plays with Dalton. Like here, like look when Dalton's ready to release this. Dalton is throwing this ball right now, and Coker has yet to break. So that shows me when a QB's throwing with anticipation, and it goes right to where you are. That shows me that you're usually ending up exactly where, you know, the route's supposed to be. So that's a, a good sign. Another tough catch from Coker, man. Like, his ball skills, it's so good. In the slot, avoid the reroute from the linebacker. Boom, Good use good hand usage right there. Get back on track. Break to the outside. Not the most efficient break here. Like, this is where he can kind of get into trouble. I think we need to just break laterally. But this ball's, per like, thrown so far to the outside. He's fully extended, tracking that in the whole way. Makes the tough catch. And then when he gets down to the right there, he turns his body over so he protects the ball from it not coming out, like jamming itself loose. That's just like really high end work at the catch point. Like Coker, one of the more advanced receivers you'll be, especially for a small school guy, like early on in his career, being that good at the catch point. He's very, very natural in these situations and has just like, I think, just a good overall feel for the game when it comes to like the tempo, avoiding those reroutes. This is probably his best route so far. Uh, get off the ball. Haven't get like he's reverse more like a soft press. I haven't seen him go for his like press press very often yet. But you know, sort of like a glide to the inside here. Takes that glide, moves this guy off his spot, and then boom, get up field vertically. Show that burst to get up on this the DB's level very quickly, and then break to the outside. So he moves him with that release right there. Break to the outside, catch the ball, and then show off some play strength. This is what I want to see. Like we've seen the work. Uh, before the you know catch point where he's released route running we've seen that we've seen him at the catch point where he's by far his best is at the catch point but now seeing some ability after the catch we show some toughness contact balance uh stay on his feet get up field so nice to see some yak ability i don't think that's going to be like 
like his high end trait. But seeing some yak with all the other combined stuff is nice. Another tough catch working the drag underneath. Uh, nice to see different concepts. You know, nothing too crazy, but the catch is nice. Like, it's not a perfectly thrown. It's pretty far out in front of him. He catches it, stays on his feet, gets upfield. Uh, nice to see him potentially trying to finish some runs. So, really good work. Uh, Coker down in the flat again. Nothing too crazy here. I do like the tempo of his routes, like understanding the play. This is play action boot, so he knows he has a little bit extra time. Sell it. Like, the DB's not really looking at him, so it doesn't really matter what he's doing here. But just like overall, I do like how he works his tempo and stuff. Break. Catch the ball. Kind of gets thrown, you know, to the inside of him and low. He catches it with his hands. Nice hands catch here. But then sometimes younger receivers do make mistakes here. Like, this is a second and five. Sometimes they won't pick up the first down when it's thrown like this. Kind of carries his momentum away from the first down. But when he gets flipped like this, he shows off some hip fluidity. Boom. Get back up field and pick up that first down. Showing just, like, nice situational awareness. Even if, like, the momentum doesn't carry him there, he got back in the right spot. It's nothing too crazy. Um. This one should have been a touchdown. This was just not Bryce's best throw of the day. Would like to see Coker finish at the catch point, but like this is a good route. Good tempo. Like considering this corner has outside leverage, like he's outside shade and he's running a corner route. He does a really good job with his tempo, man. Like he's slow playing it. He's like gliding into his route, just like a, a jog. Knows he has time and then steps hard. Like he, he eats up the cushion, then gives a hard jab to the inside of the corner to freeze him and then break to the outside. I think he does a better job on these routes when he's breaking at like a 45. I think when he has to completely get out at 90, he can get a little bit stuck in his breaks at times. When it's at like a 45, he feels much more comfortable. And then just the tempo of it, really just like lulling the DB to sleep, breaks away, has the separation, ends up being an interception. Um, but it was just a l definitely underthrown here by Young. He almost comes back and makes a play at the catch point. It's just too far underthrown. But overall, man, Jalen Coker has a lot of things to like. Really, really good at the catch point. Amazing at the catch point. His, uh, I'm surprised he even got to the, the practice. I think he was on the practice squad at some point. I'm surprised no other teams took a chance uh, with Coker. I mean, I was a Dolphins fan. I would have been down to pick up Coker when, when Carolina ended up, I think, releasing him at some point after the preseason. But yeah, Coker, really, really strong at the catch point. Like, that's his high-end trait. Shows nuance as a route runner to get open at times. And then, you know, enough toughness, I think, enough ability after the catch. That is not something that's, like, super detrimental to his game. So, really just all around nice. Seems like a pretty friendly QB target as well in the right spot. Um, yeah, just Coker making smart decisions. Sometimes these guys that dominate these small schools don't translate well to the next level, but he looks like he's translating. And I think one of the more exciting parts of the season, if you're a Panthers fan. So if you guys are a little bit of a comment, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe.